Good morning, everyone. It is Lori, and I am here to do a What You Don't See Coming reading. Let's go ahead and start by rolling the zodiac die and seeing what signs might be influencing your life right now. We have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Libra, whoop, whoop, and Capricorn. Okay. I am going to use this tarot deck. We've got the Knight of Coins showing. Okay. Knight of Pentacles popped out during the shuffle. This deck has been pre-shuffled, so we're going to get right in here. Hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. All right, Justice, there you are, my Libras. There is a strong Libra energy in the room right now. Nine of Cups. The Lovers, this is an incredible reading already. Strength card. The Sun, wow. Seven of Pentacles, the Star, <laughs> the Hanged Man, the World. My goodness, do you realize how many major arcana are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of nine cards are major arcanas. This is major life changes major life or even if it's not change okay it's change it's definitely change um there is, and it ends with a success okay this is huge this is beautiful energy even the lover's card even though it's done with black behind it it's trying to say the truth of black and white okay it's that clear oh my goodness what you do not see coming Okay, right now you're coming out of a seven of cups. You've had some options or some confusion. <clears throat> Something may have been challenging, um, kept you a little bit like not sure what direction to go, but you maintained balance even during this decision making. Um, and your final decision here appears to be a, a good one. Okay, it left you feeling very, very happy, balanced. Um, it was transformative. Whatever decision this was that you had to make, it was definitely transformative. In fact, I'm hearing that this was the end of many phases of transformation. Okay? Happiness. Um, your own personal um, satisfaction, bliss, your dreams come true, a wish come true. Okay? Here you are, whole making healthy choices, united with yourself, your dark and your light side, okay? Your heart is whole again. It's beating as it should be. It's receiving and giving, or giving and receiving, giving and receiving. It's going with the flow, okay? You are connected again, definitely. You have been challenged here. It has required a lot of strength, inner strength, character, really character building that's why this has been so transformative okay um you also have some sort of truth that's coming out here that is shining the light of the day on it and there will be no shadows okay this is like the noonday sun coming out here again healing transformation third eye is activated here where did i see the other third eye right here okay so you're you're awakened there is something, a major, major epiphany here, um, major decision, whatever this was. What? Oh, let's see. We're going to get more information. Believe me, we're going to get more information. But having this truth, this realization, the reality, um, the joy, the bliss, the happiness, the satisfaction, the feeling connected, feeling strong and powerful, okay, you are now reassessing your life and what you want out of it, what you do not want out of it, okay? You want healing. You absolutely want healing. You want a clear path. Um, you're, you're thinking about who it is you're going to take along with you here. Who you want to take along with you. Who's going to be your support? Who are you going to support? I'm getting Aries energy out of this. So some of you may be bringing along a fire sign, um, an Aries in particular, or a Sagittarius, okay? Um, there is a lot of healing here, though. Hope for a new day. Making plans for the future. Again, harmony, balance. This is huge. You don't see this coming. You do not see 
whatever decision you made here, whatever opportunity you decided to take or whatever confusion you ended, I'm seeing opportunity. I'm hearing opportunity. You're taking an opportunity and it's going to feel like justice. Like you have been waiting your whole life for this to happen. Okay. You may have been, you may have been stuck like the hanged man for your, you know, for your whole life to like knowing there was something bigger and better for you out there than where you are currently at or where you have ever been at. All right. This is about to come towards you. You make a decision that changes your whole life. You've got a different perspective. You're no longer stuck. Okay. You do, you're willing to give um, as much time as you need to this situation to keep everything balanced. Okay. You, she's got a red stone and a green stone over her eyes. So she is seeing things clearly, how things are in balance. Okay. How to keep things in balance, how to let things go so that you can have new things. Harmony here. Okay. She's twisted up with the, um, the snake here, but it is being divinely removed by spirit here. I'm loving that. This this is a completely different energy than what I'm used to with the hanged man. I'm actually seeing that the divine is removing blinders from you, um, removing you from the stuck energy, removing any blocks that were in your way. I almost feel like some of these blockages were intentional by divine. That you had to learn certain lessons. You had to go through many transformations to reach this point in order to receive this blessing, this gift. This is huge. This, I mean, this literally is like the divine is saying they're handing you the world here. Okay, see the two hands? We're offering you everything that you ever felt that you wanted okay manifesting some of you have learned the ability of manifesting your beliefs your dark side your shadow side whatever um guilt shame pain um you couldn't reconcile with yourself you finally have done that you've shown the light of day on that and you've released that negative energy healing and now you've got a beautiful, beautiful future ahead of you. Receiving the abundance that you deserve. Receiving and bringing in, manifesting. This is this is the divine, but this is also human hands here. Okay? This is, look, there's more third eyes. Awakened. Completely awakened here. Understanding exactly. Third eyes. Third eyes opening. Everything's here. Elevating. These transformations elevated you to a point. Whoa. I mean, just poof. This is huge. This is like, I, I don't even know how to describe this, but this is everything that you could have, that you have been waiting for your whole life is about to start coming to you. And I mean, it's not going to be a slow process. No. This has been a long time in coming, okay? But all of a sudden, your life is just going to like speed up with real realizations, epiphanies, awakenings, understanding. Um, and look at all the balance and harmony. Almost every single card is balance, okay? Have, including being dangled by, you know, the hand of God here. That's balance, okay? But there's, a, look at this. I have to point this out. Every single card has balance in it. Do you see it yourself? Do you see it? All right, you got the scales. You see that the two skulls, the two birds, the two flowers, everything is the same, okay? Balance. We have balance on this side. We have nine butterflies, or yeah, nine butterflies, nine cups, okay? Nine chalices. But we have the two hands, balanced, okay? We have, everything is the same. It's mirrored. So if I fold the card in half, it's mirrored. Same here. If I were to fold this right down the center, it would be exactly the same. Balance, harmony. Same thing here, third eye chakra. Oh my gosh. Balance, look, 
the points of the star, the hands. If I fold the car in half, everything is balanced. I don't know about this one, though. You've got four items here and four items here, you know, with a person. But this would, might be the only one that isn't completely balanced, which would make sense because it's the seven of coins. It's about um, weighing things. Okay, <laughs> there's the balance. It's about weighing things, what you want to keep, what you want to get rid of. So there is balance there too. And as I already pointed out, the hand of God is holding you in balance. Okay, and then we have the world here. If we fold the card in half, it's balanced. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You are in harmony with yourself, your true self, your authenticity, your higher power, your imagination. This is an incredible reading here. I mean, this is beautiful. I actually would like to use the White Sage Tarot to clarify. I don't think we need to clarify, but we're going to go ahead and start with this Nine of Cups. Spirit, what more can you tell us? The moon. You're going to be over the moon, happy, satisfied. <clears throat> I'm hearing something about um, a, a gibbous moon and a full moon. So that may be a time frame for you when something happens here. Okay. This is tarot. Tarot's fluid. Um, things happen when they happen. It's not all got, always going to happen for everybody at the exact same time. That would just be weird, okay? Like if every Libra out there um, won the lottery on the same date, that would just be weird, wouldn't it? Okay, so time and tarot are fluid. Take what resonates with you. If this is not, <clears throat> if you don't feel like this is you right now, it's maybe not you right now. It will happen for you, okay? Tarot doesn't lie. It does happen. It just may be further down the road, okay? And if this has already happened for you, then you're one of the lucky ones, okay? That is beautiful. And you can put that in the comments. You can claim that this has already happened for you, that you finally got everything that you felt like was um, for you. Look at this. Working together in harmony. The trinity, the triad, the being together. Mind, body, soul, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> in connect, connection with yourself, okay? Your imagination, your intuition, and your higher power. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify the eight, or yeah, the eight of strength. <laughs> the strength card here. We've got the ten of pentacles, okay? It's taken a lot of strength to get to this point, but this is your legacy. This is your legacy. Your inner character has been built You've transformed into the person that you are supposed to be. And this is the beginning of the legacy for you that you will be leaving behind. The beginning of the legacy of what you will be leaving behind. What you are working towards to leave for future generations. This is the full card, the leap of faith. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is the beginning. This is just the beginning. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the sun card. Let's clarify the sun energy here, please. This is the white sage tarot that I'm using here, in case you're interested. The knight of cups. Self-love first, and then you have, when you fill your own cup, you have enough cup um, love to offer to somebody else. Somebody may be coming in here. Again, balance. When you have enough, when you fill your cup of love, then you have enough to offer to other people. Equality, balance, harmony. So if you've been looking for love, you have filled your cup enough that now you are able to go out there and find the true authentic balance to yourself. The balance to your energies, to what you need in a relationship. Yeah, your life's definitely taking a, a turn here. You are dictating what direction your life will go from now on. Oh, this is beautiful energy. And this is different. This life is going to be different than anything you've experienced so far. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this. Seven of Coins. 
Queen of Swords, finding your true authentic self, being able to find your voice and speak up and know what you want and saying clearly, this is what I want, universe. This is what I want for myself, okay? I can take care of myself. I know who I am. I can speak my truth. Oh, I love this reading. I'm loving this. Your intuition, being trusting your intuition, being connected to your higher power. And look, we have a star in the star card here. Releasing things, letting them go, moving forward. I am hearing that for you guys <clears throat> that are leveling up here, okay, that this is happening finally. You're getting and receiving and seeing everything that you've ever wanted coming, starting to come true, okay? You have to let the past go. You have to release it, okay? And we have the hanged man twice. You've been, okay. You've got to let the past go so that you can change things into a better, beautiful future. It's the only way to keep yourself unstuck. Never look backwards and regret, okay? If you want to look back in joy and happiness and the good memories, that's fantastic. But as soon as you start thinking about the regrets, the negative, get get your thoughts out of there. Get your thoughts out of there. Nine, see, and this is exactly what I was just talking about. Get your thoughts out of there. If you want to heal, you have to get past that um, sleep, the, the, the guilt, the, the sense of, regrets, the pain, you know, the conversations that didn't go well, the hurtful things that were said, the hurtful things that you thought, your own self-sabotaging, because you always felt like you deserved better, like there was something bigger out there for you. You were absolutely right, but you beat yourself up in the meantime when things didn't work out, okay? You have to heal from all of that. <clears throat> and what you do is you release that energy up to the divine, you have to stand in your self-worth, Queen of Pentacles, knowing who you are, setting healthy boundaries. Okay, that's how it's done. Something huge is coming in here for you guys, and you don't see this coming. <laughs> that's the thing. I love this. The epiphany, the eye awakening, the eye opening experience. Let's see here. <laughs> Let's clarify the hanged man energy, please. Yeah, you have fought tooth and nail to get where you are, to receive this. You have really, you've been the wounded warrior. You stood still. You've taken care of it, okay? I knew this was coming. Knew it, knew it, knew it. The tower. But what does the tower mean? It means that you've seen things the way you're supposed to. You're releasing. You can no longer go back and live in this tower, okay? You can't. It's sunk. It's done. It's over with. You've released it. You've got a whole new perspective. As that tower's going down, you're seeing things a lot clearer because they're becoming a lot closer to you. Okay? So don't fight the tower moments. The tower moments are beautiful and meant for you. Okay? And look, we have the star card again. They're healing. That's what tower moments are. Releases from things that we um, just were not good for us. Okay? We didn't see how to get where we wanted to be. Well, spirit stepped in and showed you. All right, two of pentacles, okay? Oh, I'm being told that that actually goes up here. That's what restores balance, okay? When we are become aware of what is not working for us. And we do resist this a lot of times, okay? And spirit will come in and cause a tower moment for us so that we can go and receive what is better for us. And look, this tower had the green roof on here, okay? And now it's leaning towards this um, stability, balance, harmony. Um, infinitely better than that falling down tower there, okay? You have to let it go. When there's a death, there's a rebirth. Something new comes in. Something better comes in. All right, let's go ahead and see what the world card represents here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The Nine of Pentacles. Isn't that nice? Independence, freedom. Freedom. It's the sense of knowing who you are, being able to stand on your own two feet, not having to count on other people external from you. Counting on your divine power, your higher power. Yes, that's a good thing. But having to 
Okay, I, this is what I'm hearing for a lot of you. You were giving up your authority. You were giving up your authority to run your life because of um, BS rules, okay? Societal rules. You've released those. Now you've taken back your authority. You're standing on your own two feet. You realize that you can create and co-create whatever it is you want to have in your life. You can manifest it. If you believe it is true, you will have it, okay? You are somebody that is loyal, true. You can count on, people can count on you. You can count on you, okay? This is supportive structures here, okay? There's a good, solid foundation, and it's already three levels high, okay? And you've got the Nine of Pentacles here and the Ten of Pentacles there. You are about to receive everything that um, you're supposed to. We've got the Hanged Man. Oop, oop. Ha! Spirit said, look at that card. This is the one. You are stepping into your Empress energy here, okay? You are owning responsibility for your life you're you're taking charge of it you're saying no longer am i going to allow anyone to dictate to me how i am who i am what i believe in because you're not a bad person not at all you have good solid beliefs okay absolutely i love this you're abundant creative you're trusting the process you've this is where you've elevated to i mean this is the highest card within um the major arcana as far as people go you've got the empress and the emperor okay and then you've got the, the this is who you represent though okay you don't represent the high pre well you don't represent the uh hierophant okay you know what i'm trying to say here this is you on top of your game understanding that you have everything at your at, you know at your disposal you're loving caring receiving giving Abundant, creative, nurturing, connected, worthy. That's the word that Spirit's been trying to get out of my mouth this whole time. Worthy, okay? You are worthy. All right. Let's see what we have here. The Eight of Swords getting you out of your head. No longer sabotaging yourself. Letting go. You're finally going to release and open yourself up The two with the Four of Coins. The two of coins, okay? That equals the six of coins. That talks about balance and harmony and blessings coming in for you. You're releasing all pains from the past, okay? They no longer matter. And the fi final card is the two of wands here. Yeah, look at this. No matter what decision you take, make, you've got a good grasp on it, okay? And look, you've got the, the stark energy here you know what path to take and another third eye chakra opening eye opening revelation here this also looks like an eye okay so with this you've got the healing you know what direction to take okay you've got a good grasp on the situation good great i'm hearing you've got a good grasp on um how the manifesting works the law of it I, I i want to find a different word i'm i'm going to call it something else law of attraction only because there's some things that just don't sit right with me but that's the way it is with any belief system okay all right let's get you a couple of animal oracles here okay and this i'm telling you this is going to come at most of you um out of the blue like it's going to be one you're going to be feeling very, very, very confused about something, okay? You are going to feel very, very confused. And then all of a sudden, just like this eye, it's wide open. And that's when justice comes in, balance comes in, harmony comes in. All this beautiful energy comes in and things just start progressing quickly for you in a very, very positive way. Very positive, all right? Let's see what we've got here with the spirit animal um, oracle messages. We've got grizzly bear power. I've also got another card that didn't want to go back in there. This says, I am indestructible. Absolutely. I'm going to read this from your point of view, okay? I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. 
I never give up. I will succeed. I'm going to hold this up here. So if you want to take a screenshot of that, so you can maybe repeat this to yourself if you need to. Okay. Otherwise, I want to reread this. You are indestructible. You honor your intuition and you go where it leads you. You love or love and gentleness are your real strength. You never give up and you will succeed. Okay, that's how spirit wants that herd. We've got Fox Clever. You are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found by you. Always listen to your instincts. You always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you. Oh, and be open to romance. Again, this card came out again with a romance. So there's a lot of romance happening. Yep, there's a lot of romance happening for people out there. Okay, one more message here. Oh, an oracle of uh, a universal folk oracle. Okay. So one of these, there are links in the description box if you're interested or on my website, which is just your Empress Energy at or your Empress Energy .com. All right. If this message resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your message, if this has already happened to you, say you, it already happened to me and point out the name of the, the, video okay whatever the message title is and if this has not happened to you but you feel like you have been waiting for this your whole life drop that in the comments okay also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already we have an awesome community here and we would love to have you join us also uh, don't forget to hit that bell notification i do three videos a day for uh libras but anybody that it resonates with okay any message, if it resonates with you, it is your message. So, and everyone is always welcome here. All right, let's go ahead and see what universal folk oracle message. Solitude, contemplation, quiet, clarity, and renewal. Renewal. Okay, I'm hearing that your third eye is going to open. That right here. This is going to happen when you, you may have, a, I, I keep getting a moment of, confusion like something is really bugging you not keeping you sleepless or anything like that but just like you're trying to figure something out and you're feeling confused and you don't know what to do about it so you decide you're going to meditate okay or you're going to go for a walk and these are ways that people meditate so you're going to do something that takes your mind off of it okay and when you do that's when that third eye opens up all right so let's see what else we have here for you that's card 41, Solitude. Duality. Yeah, duality. Self-awareness. Observe and release. Card 23. All right. Since I'm right here at 23, I'm going to go ahead and read you. The crystal associated with this card is the black tourmaline. All right. And this says, be the watcher and quiet observer. Embrace and understand the duality of all things. The fairy in, in this card is flanked on either side by two chattering birds. They are constantly whispering and are never still in their conversation back and forth. They often confuse and cloud her judgment, yet she still holds them close and dear. Sometimes she finds wisdom in their counsel, that is, if she can calm the chatter for a little while, and recognize where the constant stories and speculation end. In her eyes, the dark beauty of the tourmaline is reflected. This stone is a powerful aid in absorbing, absorbing and releasing negative energy and thoughts. Okay, so maybe that's what you're doing. You get some black tourmaline because you're confused about something. Our mind weaves a merry dance to and fro in constant conversation with itself. Learn to sit back and listen without attachment. What can be learned from our unconscious dialogue and inner chatter? The dual nature of mind and egotistic thought, when observed, can be a great teacher. Shine a little light there and see it rather than be it. Awesome. Yeah, that definitely is uh, important for you guys. 
or somebody in particular, but most everyone that this is resonating with. All right, so card 41 is solitude. And the, um, oh, that's funny, they're both black. The crystal associated with this card is the black obsidian. Okay, obsidian is black. Anyways, this says solitude can bring a deeper understanding of how our worlds operate. This wise woman in the card has chosen quiet retreat for a period of time. Living in solitude and without distraction will allow the natural rhythms of the earth to mingle with your soul. When she is ready to return, she will have gifts to share just like the hermit in tarot or the monk in his cave. Silence brings great rewards to the soul. Black obsidian can be used to look into the darkness and mirror back what we need to learn. Oh, that's important. There may be the need to seek solitude for quiet introspection right now. External energies can be confusing and feel like they are affecting your thoughts and well-being. Time alone, away from the trappings of our modern social constructs, can help simplify and clarify things for you. When you are ready to emerge, be sure to bring back your insights to share with other people, imparting your wisdom from a place of love and non-judgment. Beautiful message. Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.